So in the earlier lecture, I talked about, uh, uh, so sorry, I derived the Hamilton's equations of motion. Considering Lagrangian, now I will again derive the same equations that is Hamilton's equations of motion, but we use the here uh, variational principle or in other words, I can say that I will use the principle of least action. So for this, consider the Lagrangian and Lagrangian can be defined as uh, in terms of uh, the gender transformation so that I can relate uh, Lagrangian with the Hamiltonian. So it is QR, QR dot P. It must be equal to summation R, P R, Q R dot minus Hamiltonian. It is uh, Q R, P R and P. So, according to variational principle, action must be least. That is, uh, this is action. And if the change in this action should be least, right? So, this is the variational principle. Or you can say that this is the principle of least action. So if I use this here, <clears throat> then I can write down the delta of integral of, and I put the value of a Lagrangian from here, from equation number one to two. So if I put their value, then it will be, it is a summation PR QR dot minus H Q R P R P and this D T it must be equal to zero. And let us take this delta inside it and taking this uh, summation outside. So if I take differential delta means if I I will take delta inside this integral then it can be written as delta summation r p r q r dot h q r p r p right so if i take change in this term and this term and the, then i can write down this as a, like this it is integral of uh, delta p r this q r dot plus p r delta q r dot right i have just operated this part with the delta and then i will operate this part with the delta and i have taken summation just outside it right the summation over r minus and when i operate this then it is a uh, curly h over curly q r delta q r plus curly h over curly p r delta p r and that's a dt and it must be equal to zero Now, let me rewrite down this equation again and uh, taking summation outside and integral is here and dt will be here and it is qr dot delta pr Then uh, 
So this I can write down it in this way plus P R delta Q R dot minus curly h over curly q r delta q r plus curly h over and this will be minus uh, yeah it is minus because when you open this bracket this can be written as uh, curly p r and it is t t is equal to zero and let me use the standard result here that if i talk about this part and uh, means it is a type of uh, integral of pr delta qr dot dt it is basically a standard value and uh, it can be written as pr dot if we do little algebra then we can prove it you can use it as a standard result right so it can be written in this way so that means if i use this here then this sawab equation can be written as it is dt curly qr dot Sorry, Q R dot delta P R minus P R dot delta Q R minus curly H over curly Q R delta Q R minus curly H over curly P R delta P R and D T is equal to zero. Sorry, D T should not be there because uh, here because it, it is already taken care here, right? It is already taken. so let me rearrange this this equation so q r dot minus it is pr it is also pr so i can write on curly h over curly pr and here delta pr then minus is outside so it is pr dot plus curly h over curly q r delta q r right sorry delta q r can be taken outside so right that's what we are getting here here i club these two and these this part with this right that's why i am getting this equation now since delta pr and delta qr are independent arbitrary variations so for this equation to be true equation 3 will be true if these two terms are separately equal to zero so that means that q r dot minus curly h over curly p r is equal to zero and p r dot plus curly h over curly q r is equal to zero which implies that uh, this curly h over curly p r is equal to q r dot and curly h over curly q r is equal to minus p r dot so these are the basically required canonical equations of motion so these are the hamiltonians these are the required hamilton sorry hamiltons hamilton's equations of motion and here we have used the variational principle to derive these right so that's all for this lecture and here you have to remember that we have uh, used a simple trick here 
that this is equal to this one this we have to remember and you can even prove this at your own level right so that's all for this lecture